Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in A10 C2 Tankala. It's early November 2020 and we've had a series of updates. I'm going to show you what I consider the most important of the updates to know. So, from the main menu, Options, Special, find the A10 C2, added to our special options, HMD Render Eye, just the right eye, just the left eye, or both eyes, obviously specific to VR. And we can also choose our default gun mode for when we select the gun. It can either be the reticle or the cross. Let's jump in the cockpit. In the cockpit, really importantly, we can get rid of the stick, which is absolutely essential. Next, we look at the CMDS panel. We can see that we can have up to 480 chaff with no flares or 480 flares with no chaff. Next, with the help of RC, I would like to show changes to the HOTAS coolie hat function as well as the hotas china hat function as well as the helmet mounted queuing system in how we display offboard broadcast speeds and offboard targets so i'll see first of all you're going to be in a separate group would you please broadcast a spee on a target on that island and broadcast right there will be a few seconds in lag while it it and there we can see a mini spee or an off-board broadcast spee from RC and a dotted line to his aircraft the dotted line means that he is not in my group and there he is nine miles away okay RC I would like you to cancel that now join my data link group my saddle group and I can tell you my ID is uh, one and my group ID is one and broadcast again a few seconds in lag for the data link to pick it up and we can see this time we've got the solid line showing that he's in our group and some extra information. Okay, next RC, can you please broadcast a target for me? Set. You can see a new task there. We've got the flashing red triangle. And here, I know it's hard to see against the sand, but that is a solid red triangle, which is the new symbology for the broadcast target. Now, I'm going to pick that up and use that. So first, I need to make my helmet soy. I used to do that with two presses of coolie up. It's now done with one press of coolie down. And you can see that I'm now soy with the asterisk. Now move my cursor over to it. I'm going to hook it with a TMS forward. And I'm going to create my own speed with TMS forward long. I now have my own speed set there. And finally, I would like to show the difference in China hat operations. So, if I wanted to slew, for instance, my teapot to my... And uh, let's get my teapot out, would help. So, if I wanted to slew my sensors to the speed there, then China hat forward long. And that's unfortunate that it's going through my body. But if I were to bank over, we can see there is a target. And if I wanted to now slew the teapot to my steer point, I would now do China hat aft long. And I know it's difficult to show because it's shown through my body, but that is no longer on the target. That is now my steer point, which we can see uh, there on the bottom left of the tan. So that's the difference in China hat and the coolie hat. As we've got our teapot in operation, let's now show that we have the much waited for boresight function. So in our T-Bod we have BS here. If I want to boresight my sensor, press it. And we are now boresighted. Note that our default depression is minus 150 for the boresight. If we wanted to change that, we'd do that the usual way via the scratch pad. So if I wanted 300, zero, zero, it's in there. Press again. We now boresight with a depression of minus 300 and finally let's have a look at the new gun sounds so master mode here we go ho, ho, ho. that's actually the first time i've heard that because i needed a genuine reaction that's pretty mad right have you heard it i'll say oh yeah you gotta hear it from oh do a flyby yeah that's amazing yeah. lovely right i'm going to enjoy that okay uh, valid viewers that's the main update so i'd like to point out um i'll see you later